What's up planner babe? This is Arlie Plans. My name is Rel and welcome back to my channel. For today's video I will be going into the subject of memory keeping. So um, I'll probably do like a mini series of some of the elements that I use when it comes to memory keeping. So for the first video of this series um, it's all about the photo printers that I use. Um, each one has a specific type of purpose. Um, they have their pros and cons and that's why I kind of like using different types of printers and these are all that I have. So um, to start off, I want to like talk about each one and say what they are. So my first one is this Instax um, by Fujifilm. Um, I think every most, most people are very familiar with this brand. Um, it's been around for a long time and they have like several models and this is the mini link model and it does print out Polaroid. So we'll get to that later. Next, I have an HP Sprocket. This is another famous like photo printer that came about like a few years ago and I still have it because it's freaking awesome. And then next I have Foamimo, which is the printer that is both featured for today because this one I got um, from the company to send to me and then to kind of like make a review out of it. So I will be linking my code on here as well if you guys are interested in purchasing after I talk about it. And then last one is the Canon Selfie CP900. It's um, biggest out of all the printers, obviously you can see, um, but this is like the most awesome as well. So I'm gonna put everything away and talk about first is the Instax. So the Instax, um, this is the newest printer actually that I have, or I think I got this one and the Fomimo like at the same time. But this one I chose to get for myself. Um, I've always wanted to have, I, did, I do have like a Instax like camera where you can like actually take pictures and then, you know, a Polaroid comes out, but, um, so I'm glad that they finally came out with a printer where you can print like on Polaroid. So this is my memory keeper. Um, kind of just like show you what I have printed so you guys can see. So like this one, this was a photo that was taken on my phone and I was able to print it. So now you can print anything from your phone and then turn it into a Polaroid. And that's technology for you. It's so freaking awesome and I can't believe that they finally came up with it so of course I had to get it. So this is a mini link uh, model like I said and I think there's one that's a tier above this one it, which is like the latest model so this is like the second latest model um, and then it comes in different colors. I did get the pink one. I also I wanted to get a white first to just like match what I have with my other printers but I just wanted to try the pink one because it's super cute. So I'm going to do a demo of how to use this printer. It's super easy if you guys are familiar with photo printers. It's definitely a, um, yeah, it's super very easy to use, but I'll still show you just like print one photo. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is for you to have like the actual mini link app. So I downloaded the mini link app and we'll go ahead and open. And now I'm going to go ahead and open as well the um, printer itself. And this is the on button. As you can see, it's green now. So now it's ready to work. And you actually have to like stand it up like so in order for you to be printing. So we're just going to come up with a quick printer type of situation. So this is the first time opening this app on my iPad. That's why it's asking you all the prompts and all that. There we go. So now we are going to connect your printer to the device that you have for using. Now it's connected and it goes to this page where you will be um, printing either like a print mode, simple print, video print, Instax camera, where you can actually use the camera on your iPad. And then there's like different collage prints frame print, party print, and that's like a freaking awesome feature that you can use these like for parties and like other people can use it. Like a, more than one person can be connected into this printer and then like print, you know, just print like photos that you just like took like there and then. 
So we'll go to simple print and then we'll just like choose like photo. Let's say I want to choose this photo of myself. Just like look, there was like a rainbow the other day and we were able to capture it. <laughs> Me and my sister did and I was just like wearing like regular clothes, like whatever. So I am going to choose this photo and then you can actually adjust like, you know, different filters if you want to do that. And then you can do some correction settings like adjust the brightness, adjust the contrast, the saturation and all that stuff. So and if you're ready to print, just hit this printer button and we'll see the magic happening. And voila, there it is. So like an old fashioned Polaroid, you're gonna have to wait for it to like, you know, reveal itself and all that. But yeah, it's super easy to use. And I love this printer so much because it definitely gives you that vintage type of look when it comes to your photos because it is a Polaroid and Polaroids are vintage. So yeah, this is the Fujifilm Instax Mini Link. So I want to talk to you about some pros and cons. Um, a pro is that it gives you the Polaroid look for your photos, even if you've taken them on your phone. So that's a major pro for me, especially if you want to have like the, you know, the biggest like photos that you have, like the super important ones. If you want to document them that way, that's good. Um, it does have this like little cute, um, you know, like structure to it. And um, last pro is that it is shareable. I haven't tried that myself because with all the social distancing going on, you can't really print. Um, you can't really be around a lot of people. So, but when time comes and the whole world is back to normal, definitely be using this for like a gathering or a party or something and we'll use it for sure. Um, the con is just like the Instax camera that came out. Um, it only has like 10 like films for each like film pack. So um, you have to have like a good amount of stock when it comes to your film packs. And another con related to the film packs is that they're not super cheap. I mean, you can buy them in like bundles, of course, but um, if you print a lot of photos, um, it's probably not like the best route because you're going to have, you're going to be spending a lot of money when it comes to the film packs. So this is the Instax Mini Link and let's move on to the next printer. So next I have is the HP Sprocket and this is actually my oldest printer that I have in my um, stash um, and I actually tried its counterpart first before getting the Sprocket which is the Polaroid Zip and they have the same concept. So they are inkless so they do have that zero ink technology, which um, came out with several printers um, a few years back. And so the beauty of that is you'll 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 never run out of ink because that's what the technology is. So the only thing that you need to spend on when it comes to this is the paper. So um, one thing I like about this one is that there is like the paper that it comes with. It's sticker paper. So let's go ahead and show you how to use the sprocket. So once again, what you need is a um, sprocket app. So just open your app and also open your printer. So let's make sure that everything is connected. Okay, so I've opened my app and now I'm going to choose a photo again of what to print. Let's see what I got here, what I can print. Um, okay, let's go ahead and print this one. This is actually a photo of my family who came to visit on Sunday um, when we had my grandma's birthday, but since it's social distancing, they just dropped by some gifts and cake and all that stuff and I took a picture of them like six feet apart. So let's go ahead and print. I did select my photo and also here that you can um, do like multiple copies, like tiles and different ones. So, um, and then you can also edit the photo. You can do a bunch of things like adjust all the colors and all that, add stickers, even add text, but you can just um, play around with the app if you have it. And I'm just gonna go ahead and print.
and here we are so this is the photo and like I was saying earlier it is a it is sticker paper so you can just peel off the back and just like stick it right onto your paper and you don't have to use tape or glue anymore so this is the HP sprocket so some of the pros and cons that I have number one pro for this one you don't need any ink so um as far as spending some things, you're only going to have to spend it on paper and also that the paper is sticker paper already. So that's another plus. Um, a con sometimes, um, it depends on the photo and the quality is not that great. So if you're comparing like the Polaroid to the zinc printer, so it's kind of like grainy a little bit and then it doesn't really fully capture like the quality of your photo, even if your photo itself is high quality. So that's sometimes a con for me. I do notice that that's why I kind of switched between printers. So I mostly use this printer to like actually print not people, like not um, photos with people on them, but just more of like some inanimate photo and animate objects and all that stuff. So that is HP Sprocket. Okay, so next I have is the Faux Memo printer. Um, this is one of my newest ones. I'm still getting a hang of using it. So the concept of this, this is a thermal printer and also it doesn't use ink as well, but the difference is I think this is the thermal one and just rock it. It just has that zinc technology, whatever the heck that means. Um, but yeah, so this one I like because it cannot, not only does it print photos, it has like templates and different types of like things that you can do. So I've been curious about this printer for a while. I see it all over Instagram and it's mostly used by um, bullet journalers. Um, I use They use it in their bullet journals to create to-do lists, print notes and all that. Um, so an example of that, let's see, um, like this note right here. So I did just type this out on their app and it just printed like so. So if you want like to print you know, like in your journal entry, if you don't want to write it out, you can just type it and then it'll print for you. So let's go ahead and show you how to print it. So I'm going to turn my printer on once again, and then I have my app. So I'm going to open my Fomimo app and it's already open, um, or already the printer is already connected as I have used this before. So you can print notes. So like the ones that I showed you, it can print just random like text that you have and it'll print. You can make the text smaller, bigger. You can add images, like an emoji, a table, which is like super useful. And then this is what I like about it the most is the templates. So it has like fun templates. There's like a to-do list, frames, schedule. So I like this frame one. So I think I'm going to, going to do this one. And I think it's a pretty cool concept for me to use like kind of documenting what my favorite songs were for like the month. Okay, so for April, one of the songs that I really like this month is, um, I don't even know what I, I'm listening to. So, um, I can't like think on the top of my head. Well, I've been listening to mostly, um, musicals. So I'm going to write Mamma Mia. So Mamma Mia, and then let's see if I can actually add this, let's see, Mamma Mia, that, okay, so we'll see, I'm not sure if you can actually change the font or something, okay, no, I don't think you can, so, okay, let's go ahead and do it again. Mama Mia, and then I'll just write by the ABBA, or ABBA, not by the ABBA. Okay, so I'm going to center that. Okay, all right, let's see. So this is just like a sample, guys. I'm trying not to <laughs> do it. Um perfectly so let's go ahead and print so it's going to look like that you can choose either if you want thin or fine or medium or thick so I'm going to do medium and then I'm going to go ahead and print
and there we have it so I freaking like it so I mean I just still need I still need to play around with this app because I just got this printer a few weeks ago and I haven't really like focused on the memory keeping part of it of my stuff until like just last week anyway so yeah I think it looks great so you can just like cut it off as you please and it is a sticker paper as well so you can just peel it off um yeah and I like this model only prints black and white unfortunately but that's okay because I don't intend to print photos on here because I do have other printers anyway but um if you guys are interested in purchasing this printer um I do have a code quote code down below um for you to guys say for you guys save um 10 i believe i'll check on that so just make sure if you guys are interested so if you are interested in like printing like different types of layouts like these ones so you can do like schedule and some like fun things and other stuff and it actually prints web pages as well so if you want to go to a specific website like print out like a screenshot of something it can print it so I love about that's what I love about this printer it's very versatile it just doesn't print photos it can print other things so that is the Fomimo printer okay last but not least I have the Canon selfie and this is the CP 900 model and I this is not the newest model that they have I think this is a pretty old model in fact um because I've had this printer for a while this was given to me by my coworker. um she did buy the newest model so in she just gave this one to me. Which it was super nice of her. So and I've been printing a lot of photos on this one as well. So the um, thing about this one is you do use ink and it actually comes in this type of like cartridge looking thing. This is what it looks like and just put it like so. Um, you can put some mem a memory card in here so you can look through the photos in this printer. You can connect it through USB, through your computer. Um, what I do mostly with it is I use the um, internet capability so I can connect my phone or my iPad to this printer um, and I can just like do a little type of air print and this is the paper that it comes with it and it's pretty big. It's like the regular 4 by 6 type of photo that it can print but you can also do like collages and all that stuff which I will show you in a second. Okay so let's go ahead and print. I'm going to be opening my app again. So I have my app printed and there's like several layouts that you can choose. Um, let's do combination. So it's going to let you choose where you want to print your photos and here I'm just going to select um, let me see. Okay, I wanted to print some from like our Disney trip last year, so let's go ahead and select like random photos. So I'm going to select this one, this one, and what else? And this one, maybe this one. Okay, so it'll choose like the photos that you have. Actually, I think I only need to choose three. Let's go ahead and try that again. So I'm actually going to choose like three photos with all with me and my siblings together. This one. Okay. So I chosen my three photos on here and now what I need to do is you can actually put some borders on it. You can do borderless, you can do bordered, I'll do bordered this time and then um, you can like either choose the background if you want it black or white and then you can um, add filters, you can like select the photos or change the photos if you want to. You can choose a layout, you can either do square or like a 4 by 3 type of stuff. So let's go ahead and do print preview and then it'll switch out to the other app and now you're going to be printing it like so. 
So now it's connected to the printer and it's going to go ahead and print the photo. And there we have it. So this is what it looks like. Um, it printed so well. I'm like very impressed. So that is the major pro for this printer. The quality is amazing. Like compared to all, all the four, this, this provides the best quality for photos for printing um, because it does come with ink and the paper is pretty good. Um, and Canon is really good with their printers anyway to begin with. So this is my trusty printer when it comes to wanting print like really high quality photos. Um, and I like how it can be done into like collages if you don't want to occupy just like one big photo. So you can like choose multiple ones. Um, um, the only thing, this is not sticker paper, it is just like regular photo paper, so you can just like cut it yourself. Um, another pro is that, um, like yeah, you can definitely connect it to anywhere else. You can do your computer, you can do like um, Bluetooth, and like just air print with your phone or your tablet. Um, and then a con, which kind of contradicts with what I just said, is like it does um come I have to like buy ink as well as paper and um it comes in like a box of like three I believe when you buy it um and it, it's not like super cheap as well so that's another con and then also another con is that it's not very portable because it is um like power operated you have to like plug it in for it to work it doesn't have its own battery um but I feel like if you're just like staying at home or like you're just if you're having a party and you just have it like sitting on one type of space and people can just like connect to it that's another thing that you can do so um yeah it's pretty good and overall like these like four printers are just like what I need I mean if anything I'll also print like using my regular printer but with these like four they're like the best um like printers that you can use for memory keeping because they do have their own um you know like purposes on what they're for and what you can use them for so there we have it so thank you guys so much for watching um what other printers are you using besides all the four that i've mentioned um if you guys have any questions please let me know and what other types of memory keeping ways that you do um instead of just printing photos so let me know in the comments below so yeah, thanks again so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. And of course, if you want to see more content from me, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys. Bye.